and happens to be one of my favorite genres of game. That being a weird, esoteric, turn-based roguelike. Like, oh baby. So let's take a look at Moonring. I, I've, I know nothing about this game outside of what was told in the suggestions box. Full screen turn on. Hmm. How likely is a CRT effect to give me brain problems? Drop the music volume and sound effects by a little bit. Let's go with the CRT effect turned off. That's probably a good idea. One new game, please. Uh, what are we gonna call ourselves? <coughs> All you see are static and letters. I demand the bimbo filter. Bimbo filter? I didn't see that one. If, if that's a filter, I'd turn that on. Turn on the sexy filter. <laughs> Let's see, moon ring. Oh god, it's all it's all rooster rooster ring jokes in my head. Absolutely red morning. Good morning. Just bump up that inflation slider. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead. We're, we're definitely still in the, like, first X minutes of what will be the VOD on YouTube, so I'm not gonna say a bad word for another few minutes. Oh my god, coffee, please. Start working, start working. Good morning. That won't get confusing. Ooh, I saw Necropolis. I feel like I chose a good corner to exist in. Oh, what an interface, my god. What do we have? Day one of the hunting moon. I have 100 electricity, 200 shield, 400 heart, 100% fork and knife, 114% strong, sexy legs, 10 arrows. Oh! Friendly fire. It said safety, so I assumed it was just a, a fart thing, like you gotta touch a doorknob or something. Oh god, was there text on screen that was explaining something? How's your bile meter? <laughs> Back to bed. You can interact with signs, doors, and other objects by bumping into them. You are targeting a friendly character. The enter key does different things depending on the situation. The icon highlighted on the left of the UI shows that pressing enter will talk to the target. In many cases, clicking the target is the same as pressing enter. You can speak with people. By, by typing words? Oh no. Or short phrases. Pressing enter will say whatever word is shown in the input box. Certain words and phrases are hidden, so experiment. Steal no dreams, child. Dreamt about your mom last. Oh, just that's the whole sentence I could write. Wow, perfect length there. They didn't find me saying I had a dream about their mom funny. No. I see. All right, I learned that Solera here doesn't have a sense of humor. Remember, you can bump into things. Large potion of healing. Shelf contains books on mushrooms, farming, animal husbandry, as well as a log of the farm's finances. Find a book titled Ancient Sibarun 6. One word catches your eye, era, which means fortress. I think fortress means fortress. Sometimes even familiar things, such as walls, may hide secrets. 
Look out for anomalies and bump into anything that looks different. I don't know what looked different about that wall, but the, the sign definitely led me astray. Not led me astray, led me right to it. I need a key, huh? Hey, bud. Key. Dream. I swear you just sleep too deeply to recall them. I'm sure your dream will come any one of these days. Don't try to force it. Boop. All right, I won't try and force it. Where would a key be hidden? I went through all the shelves here. The faint dotted square around your detection radius. Uh, enemies within this area will be alerted to your presence. Your detection radius will shrink when you are quiet and is altered by other factors such as movement, cover, equipment, and noisy actions. Chicken. What's that sign say? Yarrow Farm. Here be thine hearth, home, and heart. Don't try to force the poop. I'll force it if I wanna. Ah, the mushroom farm. People are gonna starve this winter. <coughs> Step one, destroy your own livelihood. All right, your word hint is, if uh, you were to study the structure and shape and growth of something, you'd be studying, studying its blank. Hawthorne Family Cemetery. <coughs> Grand Hawthorne. Mr. Kibbles, you hated everyone. We loved you regardless. Karim. Amber took you from the world, but not my heart. Need a graveyard key. Do, do, do. This music sounds like something I already have on my computer. Use the Q key. Or click the quiet icon to toggle quiet mode. You'll do bonus damage. If you hit an enemy who's sleeping or unaware of you. However, sneaking dims your lamp, reducing your sight. Actions will take 2x longer. While quiet, you can reduce your detection radius further by standing near walls or other cover. Walking quietly will decrease it even more. You can throw or fire objects with R or clicking the ranged icon. You will do increased damage if you hit enemies who are unaware or sleeping. Note at the start of the game, you're a bad shot. You found a note! <clears throat> the graveyard key is in the locked chest behind the farmhouse's false wall. Beyond the graves is a cave. I hit a carved stone within it. Find the stone. Find others who recognize its sign. And may the gods and my beloved be forever blind. Signed your loving father, Karim. You screw the message in your notebook. Alright. I don't know why I murdered that poor beetle. Feels unnecessary. I do dig this music. It's the kind of stuff I like falling asleep to. Oh no, but I'm so tired. <laughs> ah, you picked up something. You can open your inventory by pressing I. I'm going on an adventure now. Don't try and stop me, whatever your name was. Whoops, that's not how I go. Ho-ho! Dungeon preparations! You found the entrance to a dungeon. If you die within a dungeon, time will rewind to the point before you entered, and a new dungeon will be created. 
Press enter to enter the dungeon. I really feel like that kind of action needs to come with the sound of a toilet flushing. It's just, just common sense. You've entered the dungeon. Here, your map will be vital to keeping track of where you have been. You can press M or use the escape menu any time to see it. Damn, that's a big map! You're affected by a status change. Flashing icons in the status area show you what the effect is. I am vulnerable. I mean, emotionally, yes. The effect will wear off over time and vanish when the bar behind the icon reaches the bottom. Seems like in my best interest just hop around over here a little bit. Oh. Sometimes something has targeted you. Melee combat is performed by bumping into an enemy. Alternatively, use ranged attacks or look for items in your inventory and use them by pressing I or right click or the escape menu. Oh, I like this aiming menu. Ooh, I like that quite a bit. That's a fun way to go about it. Take this bet. Strong bet. Scraps of fur, moldy fruits. You've been hit! Don't worry, it only affects your poise, which will recharge once you're clear of enemies. Note, being hit also stops you from being quiet. Hey, that bat only hit my armor, and if I just do a little hoppy hoppy, my armor's already restored. Oh. I got your key! Oh, it's a little gremlin! You get back here! You can't catch me! Get back here, little shit! Stop running! He's not hurting me. I'm hitting him. He's just teleporting around me a lot. Ow. Archaea uses rot, rot bolt. Oh, the bat, the bat. Yeah, that only did 70 damage to my armor, which is a replenishable uh, resource. Stop running. Oh, I hate you. Hitler. Rotbolt's a good spell name. I rather like it. Might have to get that one in our D&D game. Gnomes are the worst. Come on, there's a bat coming. No! Some objects are too complex for their purpose or usage to be obvious. Items such as these require the use of a Rosetta device before they can be used. Luke, hello there. I've just turned this on for the very first time. But I love Caves of Cut. And this game mentions it as an inspiration, so that's all it took for me. And we've got over here a little potion. So I know nothing. I'm a newborn babe. I have eight arrows left. But I'm very bad at archery. Alright, we're doing okay. Doing alright on health. Something's making noise down here. But what? Oh, I stepped into a web. Let's just dance until we're not vulnerable. You haven't played Caves of Cut? Caves of Cut is an incredible experience. I highly recommend. Beetle? He doesn't know I'm coming. He's sleeping. Bam! Ah. 
All right, you found me, Bat. You found me. Ooh, out of armor. Just a little dancing around in the corner. Everything's fine. Is there something else making noise? Yes, to the left. It's a bat. Bat sees me. Not too bad. Ooh, we can start little fires. Some beetles. Come on, beetle. The only way I'm gonna learn and grow is by doing this. It's you or me. How's our map looking? Alright, there's more in the upper right, more in the upper left. There's more everywhere. It's a big dungeon. So how long did you play for? How many hours you got in here so far? What do you want to do with the pot? Refill my lamp? And then break it, just for fun. A little dance around the corners here. Just polish off my mat. <coughs> Fifteen and a half hours, not bad. Scraps of chitin. Yeah, Caves of Cud. Definitely recommend you take a peek at that game. I have a shocking amount of time put in that one. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, this one. And free is a hard price to beat. My last case of cut run, I was a high-powered psychic esper who had a lot of people hunting him down so they could eat his brain. And there's a big update coming out for it next week, which is exciting. Arrow? Ooh. Ah. Oh, it is weird not being able to do a diagonal actions. Looks like I got pretty much everything on the outline there. I can go down and right. I can make some root beer. Come here, beetle. And if you like the combat, it's very different combat-wise, but I just can't... I can't not recommend Rift Wizard to people. It's a... it's a sickness of mine. I will always shill for Rift Wizard. Tiny glass... that was a huge key, comparatively. Hmm... Inventory. Oh, so we're using a dagger. I got a cap, a tunic, and leggings. Bright fruit. Rating one, food twenty. Do I have anything that will heal me? Ah, large potion of healing, small potions of healing. I will drink a small potion of healing. Not bad. That was a big boy wolf, though. Oh, I really like this music. Dance off the vulnerable. Dance off the vulnerable. Tiny two meter glass key. Size of a small person, but eh, it's, it's still a small person. Yeah. 
new potion. Come over here. Stop hiding. Oh my god, come on. Come closer. I've killed everything else in this place. No! All right, you get to live for now. Aha! Oh. Aha! Got it. There will be no survivors. Katase! Hello from the Amazon Space Office. We're going to space soon. How you liking your new job? Oh, come on, go here. This stone looks like the one your father spoke of in his note. Perhaps Celera will know something of it. Listen, Mr. Blob. I am determined to leave no one alive in this place, so I need you to move closer. Yes, yes, like that. Being wet is not inherently dangerous. It makes it harder for you to catch fire. However, it's much easier to gain the rotting status effect and will not wear off while you're wet. You? This is a game new blob? Oh my god, come on. You're the... You're the worst. There we go. Nothing survived my trip into this dungeon. Blob is OP. Blob knows how to keep himself safe, that's for goddamn sure. Very surprised, Beetle. Being able to background switch on day one. Side of a good job. What's going on, Ephemeris? It's a shorter bus ride than I was worried it would be, and it's across the street from a ramen place. Hey, a ramen place is all that matters. As long as it's a good ramen place. I must speak with Father. Father! You're doing the, the spicy training? It's all about export control? Now when you say spicy training, at first I thought it was like, I'm gonna eat a lot of spicy food. And so export training, or export control, I'm like, is this like, not let your butthole burn? Like, what is this going on? Yeah, spicy ramen? Salera, tell me about father. Where'd you get that stone? Your father must have left it for you. There's an engraving. Keeper of the serpent's eye. I wonder what that could mean. But whole. No reply. Dungeon. Father! Poor Carmen. A kind soul through and through. We must keep the farm neutral. It was important to both of us. Serpent's Eye. Stone with a translucent black surface resembling a reptilian eye. On the rear is a faint engraving mentioning the Serpent's Eye. It's both. Do not export spicy food to other countries without doing the paperwork. That sounds right. It's about how I cannot interact with foreigners as part of my work. Ever? Now, were they clear on this? Did they mean members of the band foreigner? Or do they mean literally anyone from another country? How to leak export restricted aircraft manuals to the War Thunder forums? That's probably, you should probably try doing that too. Literally anyone from another country. You know we have international people in chat, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's essential, yes. Ponty! Ponty, are you here? You're not allowed to talk to Katase ever again. Oh, you can't talk to him in deep technical detail. All right. What have we here? <laughs> See, we got someone from Brazil already. No, oh, all my fruits decaying in my pockets. Mmm. Eat. You eat the moldy fruit. You splash water on yourself. I gotta learn how to swim. I'm not supposed to touch things that are electrical hazards. Is that part of your job, or like, are they just teaching a basic, like, All right, son. Don't put the fork in the electrical outlet. It's dangerous. All jobs should have basic, like, we're gonna teach you how not to die training. You got a clean room? That sounds like fun. I don't know why I decided to devastate the crops of this town. Yero! Whoa! That can't be how big this map is. Holy hell. No. That's so big. Opening the escape menu. Press escape or right click to open the escape menu. You could use it to look at your stats, see a map of the overworld areas you've explored, or even quit the game. Character. Ah, uh, yes, our name is Good Morning. I forgot about that. Lawnmower Simulator? Yeah. Welcome, I don't know how big the map is. It's big, apparently. We have a carry capacity of 40. Strength, finesse, intellect, perception, endurance, and luck. Do, 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 do. I gotta. I want the soundtrack to this game. It's very relaxing. Welcome to the Overlord. Overworld! They told you the number for 911. Well, that's good. That's very important. Yeah, the soundtrack, 10 out of 10. This is a view of Caldera's Overworld. You can zoom into any location by pressing Enter or left clicking on yourself. Time flows 10 times faster, so watch your food supplies. 10 times faster? Yarrow Farm. I'm just gonna follow this road for now. Oh! That is a wombat over there? Oh god. To leave a zoomed in map, you can simply walk off the edge, or if there are no enemies around, press enter and left click at yourself. Alright, they found me! That is one very British badger. So are badgers cool? You, you guys don't have a problem with me? Okay, bye. Northeast, Yarrow Farm. Southwest, Moon Upon Thus. East, Wintershawl. Alright. Let's go to Wintershawl. Be cool, Bat. You bastard. Oh, I'm gonna have so much rabies. Oh, 
You have a fake badge? You snuck in? I have to badge in the place where I can use my badge to enter a pin to access the building. I don't know, I haven't checked my inventory to see how much rabies I have yet. Hopefully I have enough rabies. A flower on the overworld map shows the position of a useful plant. If you enter those areas, you'll find an herb to pick for use in potion crafting. Ah, crafting! Well, suddenly lots of bats. God damn. That looks like a drink a potion situation to me. Get out of here, bats! Oh, lordy, bleeding's bad for you. Rotting can't be a bad status. Just let that bleeding run out. <laughs> Alright, I'm done bleeding. That was bad. <laughs> oh my lord. I have two large potions of healing. And no more smalls? Oh no. All right, maybe maybe one more sip of the potion. Whoops, that's not what I meant. That's what I meant. This game having those pause to explain tutorials and still having many secrets is amazing. I like it. Friend or foe? Innocent and oh, it was a hedgehog. Well, I'm the monster here. I'm so sorry, hedgehog. I will tell Knuckles what happened. Ooh, berries. And no, no thousands of bats here, all to beat me up. That's nice. The fact that they've just put this up for free is the surprising part to me. Guess they just had had it in their brain and they had to get it out of their brain. Money be dance. Wait, was that? Hoof prince. Prey whose pelter meat is valuable. Damn bats! I've done the hunting. At least I think I have? Yeah, I have. Ooh, and berries? Keep on expecting. Congratulations at the end of the demo. Well, I guess they just, they wanted to make a game, they just made a game. If I recall, someone told me uh, the folks that made this, uh, the primary dude at the very least, one of the guys that made Fable. So maybe they just uh, felt the creative urge. Get myself some berries. Uh, friend? Not friend. That's what happens when you mess with me. I take your guineas. Can't believe they use, uh, small rodents for currency. We trade in guinea pigs around these parts. Where are these berries at? 
Berries? I know there's berries here somewhere. There they are. My hunger's doing all right. Come back. All right, that deer was very fast. Amber. Amber causes madness. Finding kindling. Kindling in a neighboring area. Once you find the precise location, press enter to zoom into the area. It's a useful resource to allow you to use your campfire kit. Hello? Are there robots in here? I'm hearing whirring and clanking. Oh god. Alright, no, 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 no troubles. I'll be on my way, goodbye. Woof! They hurt a lot. I feel like maybe I was supposed to go to the other tab. Healing technology from the Seborun era in the form of a translucent white faceted stone filled with swirling motes of dark blue. Considered an invaluable tool by those who follow the Lords of Dust with their strange aversion to witchcraft and its curative potions. Five uses. Eh. Yeah. Interrupted their battle bots match. All right, the amber is spreading. I. Oh lord. Stun makes you move erratically. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm on amber right now. Anyone smell burnt toast? Oh, I'm out of the amber. Birds aren't real. No. I can't control which direction I move in. Well, well, well. Man, that's a long, mad status effect. If I just dance against this bush, I'll eventually run out of the mad effect. Does my skull taste good? What monstrosity is this? God, no. Mimsy McMuppets? Time for green jelly? <laughs> Not ducklings, no. I never petted my guts. Does my skull taste good? Cthulhu Photogon. I think my favorite was the birds aren't real. That's that's very good. All right, no longer insane. Yeah, let's see if there's a nut. Is that a Tuscan Raider? My bones are too wet. Good there was no fungal shift. There could be. Audrey, what's up? Play some Fiasmophobia. Checking out this game right here. Fifty HP. No bat, no. I want no bat troubles, please. Low health, you say? I had no idea. Oh, 
Unknown device. Let's let's use a little bit more life stone, shall we? Before these goddamn bats pick a fight. That's right. Get out of here. That's a beetle on the map. Southwest moon upon Voss. Hmm. Just straight up west. Scraps of chitin. Whoa. I see a town. Maybe, maybe I will follow the road down a little bit more. All right, that looks like a cave we can go into. Goddamn bats! How do I not have rabies? Oh. Everything's changed colors. Towns and friendly fire. Towns are considered safe havens, so the use of weapons is prohibited. However, if you really want to fight, you can use F to turn off friendly fire, which will allow you to be as violent as you wish. Hi, stranger. I'm Quintessa. Welcome to Moon Upon Thus. Hmm. Serpent Eye. Black Stone. I don't think you know what I need. Need directions? Alchemy, occultists, armor, weaponsmith, cell swords, guilds. Can we hire buddies? Can we have companions? Putting money into a donation coffer improves the town's economy, leading to higher quality goods being sold, and the town's opinion of you improving. Moon upon Thos's prosperity. It's grade A over here. I uh, will not offer any money. Thank you very much. I'm new to this life. That looks like a robot maid. Are you a person? Want to know a secret? <coughs> There's a fallen tunnel in the mountains on the way to Wintershaw. I reckon it's full of treasure and monsters. Probably all monsters, actually. You know what? Suddenly I'm not so interested. I don't see the point of the city's priests. We all know we follow. Our dreams make it quite clear. This is a very pleasant, like, medieval town music. Got an alchemy store. Some house I could probably break into if I try hard enough. Hardware, hostile. A grocer? I'm at 63% hungry. I could just eat a bunch of garbage I have. There we go. Not feeling so hungry now. What is this, the docks? Oh, the docks. A shipyard. Oh, wait, who's this? 123 guineas, oh my god. It's most of my money. I hear something moving around in there. Sleep? Step. Hello? Who am I? I am no, that's not right. Your name is Nevin. I... I was he... in better days... before I knew... Knew? I... too much! More than a person can hold! I wish I did not! 
that our truth should see the light. This world is wrong. They alter our minds. They make us docile. Even the serpents could not stop them. Serpents? The serpents I doomed. But you bear their emblem. So perhaps there's hope. They asked me to join them. A farmer, a thief, and a hunter. Were there more? They knew. They had suspicions. The moons. Not all is good in this world. Are there truly five? Are you so sure? Ha! Roche is still alive. And Roche knows. The last of the serpents. Who's Roche? Those in Barrow Lynn know of him. Ah, God to those living in the cannons. Ask of him there. Hmm. Well, we gotta ask who they are. I cannot speak of them. Not while their moons are in the sky. No, they will hear. And I shall be gone too. Thoughtiest Rosh should be long dead. But that's not true. Rosh knows the truth. Seek them deep in the amber. Seek a place where the amber does not move with the wind. I know Rosh lives even now. I've seen them in my dreams. From Harold's sick of the life. They got him in the marshes. Thank you, crazy man that lives in the garbage. <laughs> Roche got those pencils. It's going on a bit. The lore so far from what I've learned is 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you, Truthy. I feel like the part that's going to make me blown away by the fact that this game is free is the fact that there's so much... So much writing in here. And the little, like, interactive text system. Very... Very fun. That's a very old school way to go. That always feels very modern. Treat for Benji. Very Ultima? Yes. That's the other influence. This game listed two major influences. Ultima... And Caves of Cubs. It's like, okay, so I grew up with Ultima, and I play Caves of Cud like a drug addict. My snack shall be a peanut butter... Chocolate peanut butter pie Oreo. Gotta find someone I can yell something at. Dog! Mmm. That's a tasty Oreo. Ah, Carnell would be so old now. I wonder who will replace him. No reply. Your mother isn't a wiki yet? I'm sure there's only a matter of time before someone starts making an elaborate wiki. I'm hoping this game gets gets an audience. That way there can be a nice elaborate wiki. Frederick instated on craving his own headstone. Or is that just a thing Brennan Lee Mulligan warned us about? Honestly, just a straight up peanut butter Oreo would probably be even better. But uh the pie flavor comes through, it's good. Bit, this game is free! Free! Anyone can have this game. Yeah, the lack, the lack of diagonal movement does hurt my brain a little bit, but, um... Friggin' other game that I need to play more of doesn't have it either, and I like that game. <laughs> Dang it! Here lies Leon. Jupiter Hell, thank you, Taco. 
I had a lot of allergies last night, and my I just <laughs> I'm so tired today. Brain's gonna be uh, having trouble. The mushroom did indeed taste funny. Hilda lives forevermore, just as she did in life. Albert de something or other, a terminal mumbler. Henry of the Black Watch, surrounded by friends even now. R.A.P. Larry Lapper, half man, half dog, all idiots. This is a good graveyard. I would like to go to that skull there, but I can't get past this tree. Or can I? Definitely something, something important about that tree. Tree. Skull. Someone's carved, my heart hides behind a word made by walls. In Moon Upon Foss's graveyard. Heart lies behind a word made by walls. That graffiti was made in jest. <laughs> I have the buttons ready. <laughs> Let me hop diagonally. Wait, extra gravestones? Gravestones currently blank. Gravestone intentionally left blank. Do I have a map of this town? Holy hell, this is a big world map. I was walking for a while. The Lost Tunnels. Seventy nine percent fooded. They're not lost, they're right there. Oh, here we go. Street of the Gods. Handcrafted map? My god. How oh dare. I'm afraid you must have the wrong place. Hmm. I believe that the... The world map and the towns are bespoke, but the dungeons are procedural. So, like, every time you go into a dungeon, remix the dungeon. But, like, the world map, towns, those should be static. Do, do. Wrong? Uh, you do not seem entertaining. You're probably better off elsewhere. This is, like, the Rakdos cult. Can you juggle, dance, sing, look fabulous? Or perhaps you have wit? Ah, uh, the wit of we Harlequins is legendary. Or at least amusing. Our tongues are barbed, as are our blades. Indeed, we do not suffer the crassness of brutal combat. Our way is that of finesse. Nothing's worth doing without flair. As we say, do what you will, but do it with taste and a little valve. And a shot of brandy. Why, thank you. Oh, how disappointing. I was hoping it was an offer. Where was I? Oh, yes. Prostatizing. Blah, blah, drinking. Blah, blah, swift blades. Blah, blah, death. Blah, blah, life is a dark jest. I think that about covers it. Fabulous? My pay my face is painted for the gods. And I could sing all twelve verses of Almara. Yeah, if I had to spell words right, this game would never, never go anywhere. <laughs> well then I doubt you've ever even heard of it. Actually, it's quite a tedious poem. I should probably kill the author at some point. For aesthetic reasons, of course. All life in one little word, eh? But then, 
Nothing really means anything more than the attention we give it. Cassiopina. Dead authors are always so much better. So I believe this is like the religious quarter. Are you interested in the Lords of Dust? Yes, they're always looking for keen minds. Or quinoa. The world is full of wonders. The Sibiroon left many great works. Our brethren wander the world looking for them. Sib Sibiroon? Crab Rangoon? This frat row's weird. Those who ruled this world before the Cataclysm, though their genius could not save them. The Lords seek to make the brightest of us burn ever brighter. They care not if you dream of them. Devotion's more important. It is less worship than application. A mystery is not a mystery forever, after all. What's your church all about? You come to worship our Lady of the Sanguine Moon? That moon slain Caldera is such a beautiful tint, does it not? Like the blood which nourishes us. Do you dream of them, child? The blood is all. We need nothing more. It sustains us as the base of all Caldera's tinctures. Damn it. This word is almost entirely the other word. It poisons, remedies, and so much more. Our skills are highly sought after. Blood ministration. Not only our alchemy, but our perception and manipulation of the veils between life and death. Uh, you approve? Alchemy? Uh, blood is all. It's both medicine and food for us. We're not vampires. Uh, does that disgust you? Oh, you didn't dream about us? Yeah, maybe in time. Perhaps tonight, if her way is in your blood. And perhaps your way does not lie with her. This is to be expected. Oh, you do? Then we'll see what your dreams bring. But do not devote yourself to her idly. How was your dungeons and also dragons? So far, I'm impressed by this. Welcome to the Temple of the Way of the All Blind Angels. Do you dream of them, or are you dreamless? Dreamless. Sometimes the dragons are in the dungeons. And for really cool people, there's dungeons inside the dragons. Yeah, I like the brightly colored sprite work. It's very good. <laughs> Playing the most horrible goblin gnome. Good. No matter. Hmm. <coughs> they will still accept your worship. They will even impart their gifts. We've been granted great endurance, as well as a certain sensitivity. <laughs> Just the tip. Thank you. Thank you for that very good username and for joining the Shake the Box family. We're very happy to have you here. Have you been playing this one or are you just checking it out? <clears throat> yes, very sensitive, very sensitive. And Luke, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Shake the Box family. Very happy to have you here. I already know you've played this one. Though I am blind, I can see you. Or rather, I see your life force it shimmers like a host of moon moths quite beautiful if you're blind how do you know what a moon moth looks like you'll see it too if you follow our way devote yourself to the angels and with time their boons will be yours let me give you legal advice oh thanks al you love how the religions work i'm excited to find out Ah, I see your temple is outside. Welcome, child. Come out into the clean air and parley. Blessings to the great forest wolf. 
Don't make a broadcast of you calling the judge who's going to decide how much you must pay a goblin before going to court. <laughs> Parson? <laughs> Have you been having legal troubles in your game of Dungeons and Dragons, Alan? <laughs> Check the box that says you want a jury trial? Do The wolf is a ruler of all forests in Caldera. And a harsh mistress. However, they ask nothing of us that strength cannot overcome. You might not learn much from me. I'm, I'm just turning this on for the first time today, so I'm learning too. Some conversation topics are hidden and do not autocomplete because they have not come up in conversation. For example, here you should specifically ask about the serpent's eye. Try it now by typing it in. Thank you. Welcome to Moon Upon Voss. Well, whose path do you follow? <laughs> the king's backseating. I follow the one-eyed trouser serpent. You can learn from Chris's miserable failures. That was yesterday during Binding of Isaac, where I just... Wow. So bad at that game. In my defense, Blue Baby's hard. But god damn it. I miss old Isaac, where runs were powerful. Whose path do you follow? I follow the one-eyed trouser snake. The serpent's eye. I'm unfamiliar. I'm afraid it's not familiar, rather. Binding of Isaac is hard, it really is. <laughs> it really is. Mm. Oh, especially, I, I was sleepy yesterday, and I'm sleepy today. So a turn-based game, much more my speed. Much more my speed today. But I have not been here for very long. Perhaps you should look for my predecessor. Yes, their name is Nevin. I'm afraid they became quite addled some time ago. Oh, I found the trash man. And now reside as a shell in the ruined quarter. If you see them, speak that name. It may help. It is terrible to see those who were great lose their minds. But it happens all the damn time. What can one do? Yes. Of which god do you dream? Oh, are you perhaps dreamless? Oh, -ho! worry not, a dream may still come. And if not, a life of balance is noble. Here, I have a gift for you. It may help guide you. Oh, a devotional tear. You have received a devotional tear. These can be used for an inventory to grant you favor with the gods and access new gifts. It is a devotional tear. They're precious. They were wept by those who gave their life for their gods. Devote a tear to a god and you will be blessed. Divine gifts are not only for dreamers. You gonna worship clown god? Obviously, I'm gonna worship clown god. We may all benefit from their power. The gods will be patient while you make up your mind. Dreamless or not. Your supper wanna worship clown god. Honk, honk, mofo. Silence. I'll burn this place to the ground. Hums prettily. Tear? We all float down here with the lemons. Janeth, I don't remember the name of this religion. 
Listen, I want to join up. Divine Tear. Maybe I use the tear. Melee ranged armor, food, alchemy. Devotional tier. Sir Hanksalot. Don't think threatening to burn their house down phases them. Especially not them. They strike me as very Rakdos esque. They probably dig it. Death's Harlequin. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I see. They they kind of correspond to stats. Finesse is fine. Lords of Dust is probably where I'd want to go for magic. Perceptions for people who want to pay attention. Yeah, let's go with Death's Harlequin. You have devotion to spend. This is a currency that can be used to gain gifts from the gods and increase your statistics. You can press G or use the escape... Boop. Hawk Mother is the deity of clowns in Space Station 13 and Barrow Trauma. <laughs> the God Screen is where you spend devotion. Choose which god to bind yourself to. And check the status of devotional tasks. Each devotion you spend will give you a gift and also raise one statistic by five. Click the screen or press G whenever you've gained more devotion. Visit the Harlequin's hometown. You haven't chosen a god yet? When I find Clown God, I have to join Clown God. Find a legendary rapier or dagger? Suffer every type of status effects? Hey, 5 out of 15, on my way. Defeat 50 enemies while insane. Only got one there. Become cursed by every other god! Yes! Gain the, tri the trickster's mask. You know you chose right when it's, uh... Alright, piss everyone else off. Each gift adds to finesse, improving one's use of rapiers, pins, daggers, and dodging. Gifts focus on deception and trickery. Love this buffet of numbers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adherents have a dark sense of humor. Reveling in hedonism and jests. Is this is this my real life religion right here? Harrow Dus, finesse, boon, frolic, move faster when insane. <laughs> Taboos, barbarity, anything that is not a dagger, rapier, or pin. So I got to get myself a a rapier. Motto: Death comes to us all, but we could choose how we receive him. Oh, that flashing color. <laughs> Harlequin distorts reality to increase your chance of doing critical damage and dodging incoming blows for a period. Unfortunately, your mortal mind cannot fathom this, driving you mad. Betrayal. Cause target creature to strike all adjacent creatures to the north, south, east, and west with a 100% chance of doing damage. Place a small annoying doll on the floor, which will explode a short time later. Oh, this, this is a good religion. Your target begins to echo your movements, jerkily, and even attack its own allies if they happen to be in the way. Your finesse increases the duration of the effect. We could puppet somebody. Affect the target in one of a number of curious and rather random ways, funnier than it is effective. Summon a powerful supernatural entity who demands a constant stream of sacrifices. If not satisfied, he'll turn on you. <clears throat> Dodging coming blows, you go insane. This is such a Chris game. This is very much a Chris like religion system. At the very least, a Chris religion right here. <laughs> Fun or effective should be what all gaming strive for, yes. Alright, both Puppet and the other one are fine by me. I'm I'm interested in either. I think I'll go with Puppet. Puppet sounds like the most fun. But 
Counterpoint, being strong is good. I love being strong. Sounds like a D&D spell I was working on. Oh, yeah? Whoa. Alright, I dig our new religion. I look forward to going insane. We should try and visit the hometown. We found the name out. Hometown is Harrow Deuce. Find a legendary rapier or dagger. Suffer every type of status effect. Defeat 50 enemies while insane. Well, now I want to just go back into the insane cloud. Cursed by every other god. Dust guys are boring. They don't believe in magic. That's funny because their thing gives you intellect, which is good for magic. Repair a construct, recover, discover every type of wand or orb. I like Devil May Cry 1, but the game on hard difficulty is entirely spamming the same three button combo all game long. Then once in a while, Devil Trigger and spam guns. I like Devil May Cry 1, but I feel like it got better with the sequels, except for the bad ones. But the last one was quite good. I really enjoyed Devil May Cry 5. The Way of All Blind Angels. They believe in science? I mean, we did run into robots. I can see why. Alright, I've died 100% in on my religion here, which is Cloud God. Hello, brother! Honk honk. Alright, how do we get cursed by all the other gods? Don't make cry two, one, or four, three, and five. <gasps> oh, from worst to best. Okay, that makes more sense. It's gonna say. It's like five at the end. But you put five on top. I might agree. I really liked five. <laughs> The original trilogy, I enjoy all three. I have the, the remaster for PlayStation 3, little collection. Oh, that's sneaking. Right, right, right. I'm curious about notes I have. Moon Ring automatically records all quests and tutorial notes on the screen. You can change the starting type with left or right, or up or down to scroll through notes, and enter the cycle through pages. That was not the button I wanted. Alright, we got the Fallen Tunnel. Followers of the Lady subsist on blood. I don't know why that one showed up as a quest. Your father hit a stone. Nevin, former priest of balance, may no more. Speaking the old priest's name may soothe their adult mind. Ah, yeah, we got the priest's name now. Someone has carved, my heart hides behind a word made of Y walls in Moon Upon Thassa's graveyard. Let's go talk to the crazy guy that lives in the garbage pile. There's a bunch of stuff I would roll my eyes at Devil May Cry for now, but I suppose I played it in a really good mood at the time. That's fair. Your notes are a mess, too much info? I feel like it might just need a few more, a few more pages, like a way to subsort stuff. Like uh, I like Caves of Cud. It has it has a lot of different ways to like parse all the different information you get. A lot of different ways. As far as the game, where don't don't they realize he was immortal and really stopped giving a shit? Better serpent's eye. What's the priest's name? I don't remember. From Yarrow had a child too. That's why I have the stone. Poor thing. I gotta go back and find out that guy's name. Oh wait, wait, wait! It might be in my notes. Nope. Oh, they want hit me to say his name. I thought it was his buddy's name he wanted to say. I did say his name last time. Nevin, Nevin, where'd you go? We talked to this guy out of order. I was he in better days before I knew. 
Yeah, we already had that conversation. Wait, they all have numbers? Good lord. Ask about Roche and Barrow Lynn. No one believes Roche lives somewhere wreath in unmoving amber. Roche knows some great secret. I feel like we just want to make our way to a place with unmoving amber. All right, Nevin. Let's just burn through some of these words I haven't said to you yet. Hunter? Killed by Sleevin in the forests! You fool! All should beware that beast! What's a Sleevin? Is that like a really sloppy heathen? Sleevin can be found in the forest of the Northeast! I've already asked about the serpent's eye, but it's popping up. Did I have to put... There we go. You see a flicker of recognition in the old priest's eyes, but it passes swiftly, leaving them too lost to respond. I was the priest of balance! Here, yes, here! This was my city, too! Right, I think we've exhausted all the dialogue options for our good trash goblin Nevin. We gotta find some unmoving amber. Or at the very least, just have a lot of fun in amber, because my new religion demands I go insane. And I would like to appease my god. Kick my way in. I want to learn how to lockpick. Whoa. Steal a book? You find a book speaking of an area beneath the city once used for storage where a heretic was imprisoned a decade or more ago. They may have forgotten to feed him. There are no other records of this individual. Under the city, huh? I'm out of lamp oil. I think this is someone's bed. You risk committing a crime. Sleep sneakily. <laughs> What a good crime. How do I get under the city? Splash water on yourself. Yeah, the music's great. Like, I, f I really like the soundtrack. A cultist store, alchemy grocer. You know, I think I will go to the hostel first. 19 paces to the south. Usually more of a crime if someone's already in it, right? Eighteen, nineteen. It really was 19 paces south. 120? What? It's the same price to cross the ocean. How much money do I have? 130, that's almost all my money. Camping kit. Base cost, 1,100. My goodness. I should sell some stuff. Crath, what's going on, buddy? What were you doing? Someone give Krath a shout out, I demand it! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's going on, Krath? They have Omni Man and Homelander, seems a bit overlapping. A little bit. Those are weird crossovers to be doing for Mortal Kombat, but I guess not that weird. We had 
We've had the alien, we've had Predator, like, we've had most DC characters at some point or another. Destroying people with a loot and dark and darker, nice. I don't know if this would be up your alley or not, Krath, but this game is completely free to play on Steam. And it's pretty interesting. I just joined a religion. Uh, I, I worship a clown god of death. And it's all about going insane. One of my quests for my religion is literally just piss off all the other gods and get cursed by them. If I can get all the other religions to curse me, I'll level up my religion. <laughs> Scraps of ancient metal. Okay, I could sell some metal. <clears throat> Fetch a fair price. I have stuff to sell. I got that going for me. Hold on, I gotta go make some money. What is this, a hardware store? You buy? No, I meant are you buy. Like, you wanna, you know? <laughs> Panda, what's up? This is not a text-based adventure, but it does have a, like, text system where you can talk to people. Budumts. My potion of healing sells for 274. Damn! Alright, I'm gonna sell scraps of ancient metal to you. Use if one wishes to repair a Sibirun machine. Nah, I'll sell it. I have some lamp oil. Let's sell all of my hides. Which is one. Sell all my scraps of fur. I need to make some money. Arrows, bone bark. Kindling, holy leaf, scraps of chitin. <laughs> A game with realistic stats, or at the very least sensibly named stats. We'll probably do more Liza P later for its silly stat names. Ranged, armor, food, alchemy, devices, tools, trade. Oh, well, kindling's useful to me, so I'm not gonna sell the kindling. But now I have 399 money. Which seems a bit better. I wonder if we sleep in the inn, will I restore my health? Does it come with a meal? Weaponsmith, do you sell a rapier by any chance? Bolt, arrow, throwing dagger, club. A THOUSAND?! What?! Come on! Everything's so expensive! I thought I was doing alright on money, but no! Absolutely not! Ugh, I need a rapier. My religion demands I use a rapier. You didn't devote to the gods. Ah! I know, like, it seems like it wants me to. Finesse. At the very least, I've improved my finesse by plus five, so we want to use a rapier. Do, do. I guess I could just go play in the insane clouds. I want the trickster's mask, too. There's so much. I want everything about my religion. What's this little thing over here? Little moon symbol. You have to click on the symbol of the god. Dedicate yourself to Death's Harquin and abstain from using melee weapons that aren't a pin, a dagger, or a rapier. As a gift for your dedication, your health, food, and poison will restore- Yes! Yes! I will devote. You vow to devote yourself to Death's Harquin. This god's gifts are now 50% cheaper to use. Boon! Frolic! You move faster when you're insane! Using melee weapons that aren't a pin, dagger, or rapier is now a sin. Cool! <laughs> do, do. Pray for deliverance. You're already devoted to this god. This will count as a major sin! What am I currently using as a weapon? I'm using a dagger, we're good. I'm alright. I'm okay. 
Major Sin sounds like a decent character name. It does. A last resort? No, I, I joined a religion. It's the only one I got. Great Arbalist. Delicate filigreed blade was modeled after those carried by major courtiers of the Sibirun houses. What affinities do the other religions have? What happens when you sin? Oh, I don't know what happens when you sin either. We'll probably end up finding out at some point. So the other gods... This one uh, is all about strength. This one's finesse. This one's intellect. This one's perception. And this one's endurance. And they all have like little quests that help you level up in their various religions. I wonder if we could still reap the rewards for doing other religions quests. That one had a taboo about eating food. Wait, what? Taboo, cowardice. Taboo is barbarity. Taboo is medicine. Wait, we're not allowed to use medicine? There are so many inappropriate jokes I can make about real life things right now that I won't. Eating food! Weird. You gotta go with the blood goddess? Well, don't eat food. Only drink blood. If you go with this one. Taboo is injustice. You've been inoculated against medicine. Listen, we're just gonna pray, or right? it's gonna fix everything. All right, I need more money. The boys. We have a movie series called The Boys that are comedies about a crappy hockey team. A grocer? Just sounds like the show Shorzy. What if lock picking's a thing we can get into? You would be an endurance panda. And again, this is a free game on Steam. Like, you can just download this game right now and play it if you want. We have an occultist store. I can't- I could barely afford to stay in an inn. I, I'm not even gonna wander into other stores. I'm just looking for, like, if there's something we could use to get under the town in town. There's very good vibes. I might go into the cave that's nearby. Wait, 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 hold on. Maybe I will buy some stuff. Did you say cultist simulator? If you say that too loud, Katase's gonna overhear us. Some of the prettiest graphics you've seen for an, uh, a roguelike. It is very nice looking. You're working your way towards that cultist simulator? Have you played uh, books, The Book of Hours yet? <laughs> Oh yeah, depersonalization. I should pick that up sooner or later. <coughs> Fall in London and Sunless Sea. 13 paces northeast. We might check those out for October. I need potions. Lamp oil. Antidote. Wait, from Sea Thrashers? Alright. I don't know if anyone's seen the stupid sequel to Avatar, but I had to watch it the other day in the Discord <laughs> to make good on my promises. And there is space whaling in that movie. Like, they go to another planet just to, just to whale. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still angry that they talk about it for like a half an hour in the movie and it doesn't actually go anywhere. There sure was! I love the economy system. Like, item prices are not only affected by your reputation, but the demand as well. Oh, yeah! They mentioned, like, we could donate to the town. You watched The Whale last night. Felt weird. Well, that one is... That's a Darren Aronofsky movie. His whole thing is making you feel weird. I won't see the new Avatar. Uh, spoilers, I don't like Avatar. I think those movies are... bad? But I, I promised I would watch them with people in the Discord for one of our charity streams, so I did it. And I just wanted to point out that it's stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> I can't even afford healing potions. I just want some healing potions. 
Alright, I'm gonna go into that cave. 